Turning to the coronavirus, we are looking into how stealth Omicron could impact the COVID-19 pandemic over the next few weeks. A new report shows cases of the subvariant are spreading. Some have even been detected right here in Florida. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott is live in Tampa. She spoke with a local expert about this subvariant and what is next. Good morning to you, Larissa. Hi, good morning, Vanessa. Right now, researchers are monitoring emerging data on stealth Omicron, learning more as new cases rise around the world. It's a brother or sister to the Omicron that we went through this wave. Stealth Omicron is a subvariant of Omicron. It has many of the same mutations, but it also has a set of different mutations. The reason it's called stealth Omicron, also known as BA2, is because it's harder to detect on PCR tests. Labs have to take an extra step and sequence the virus to find this version of the variant. The original Omicron, also known as BA1, is already highly contagious. New lab experiments from Japan show stealth Omicron may be even more transmissible. Yeah, it looks like it replicates a little bit better than the regular Omicron. Um, so uh, I think they were estimating something like 30 percent better, more transmissible. Researchers say stealth Omicron is spreading faster. According to the World Health Organization, the subvariant has been detected in at least 74 countries and 47 states, including Florida. That new report out of Japan shows it could also be resistant to some treatments like monoclonal antibodies. The good thing is that the vaccine efficacy against this BA2 is pretty much exactly the same as it is against BA1. So if you've been vaccinated, boosted, um, your immune system is going to recognize this one just like it does did the other one. Some experts think stealth Omicron could be the reason COVID-19 cases have stalled a little. It's taking longer to get over this wave than they've seen previously and believe this new subvariant could be to blame. What we're seeing a little bit of in the United States with the Omicron surge is that it went up. It spiked really quickly. And it's coming down, but usually it goes up and comes down at the same speed. And this one is kind of coming down a little bit slower. As for what's next, researchers say that's hard to plan for since COVID-19 variants have come from all around the world. This is the one thing about the pandemic has been really unpredictable, right? We don't know when the next variant's coming out. We don't know where it's coming out. And the CDC says it's monitoring stealth Omicron very closely. We'll keep you updated, of course, on any changes on ABCActionNews.com. For now, I'm live in Tampa this morning. Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.